Hello everyone, and welcome to an old school runescape guide showing you how to complete the quest, What Lies Below. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is short length, about 15 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 35 runecrafting and 42 mining if you're using the shortcut to the Chaos Altar. This will not be required if you're using the Abyss and completion of Rune Mysteries quest. In your warning equipment, it's recommended that you wear weight reducing gear and have a decent weapon. In your inventory, you will need a bowl, 15 chaos runes, a chaos talisman or tiara, which is not required if you're using the abyss, bronze pickaxe, which is needed depending on how you get to the chaos altar later on in the quest, and is also obtained during the quest. It is recommended that you bring a Chronicle, which you can buy from Diango's Toy Store for 300 GP, and Vrog Teleports. You will need to be able to defeat 5 Outlaws and King Roald. Linked in the description below are maps for more information. To start the quest, you must find Rat Burgess. He is located on the road south of Rock on the way to Lumbridge. A fast way to get there is by using a chronicle to the Champions Guild. Speak to Rat and ask him, shall I get them back for you? And of course, tell me what you need me to do. He will give you an empty folder. Now you must find the five outlaws and kill them to retrieve Rat's papers and fill the folder. The outlaws, level 32, are located west of the Grand Exchange, south of Fairy Ring DKR. You can use a Varrock teleport to get there quickly or simply walk. Once there, kill the five outlaws. They should each drop Rat's paper. Collect five of them. Use the five papers on the folder to fill it. Go back to Rat. Speak to him and he'll take the folder and will give you a letter. Now you'll need to teleport back to Varrock. Travel to the Varrock Castle Library, which is located on the ground floor on the north side. Speak to Surak Magus. He will destroy the letter. Tell him, go on then. He'll give you Sincath's diary and a wand. If you would like to get some kudos and a magic lamp from the Vrock Museum, you'll need to get a book called Dagon High History. It's found in one of the two bookcases furthest east of the library. After the quest, you can give this book to Historian Minas on the second floor of the Vrock Museum for five kudos and a magic lamp. Now you'll need to go to the Chaos Altar. There are three ways to get there. This method will require that you run into the wilderness. Only bring items that you are willing to lose. But bring with you a Chaos Talisman or Tiara, 15 Chaos Runes, a Varrock Teleport, and the quest items received so far. Run directly north of the Edgeville Monastery. Enter the altar and you'll be teleported to the beginning of the Chaos Maze. You'll need to go through the maze as I am, and there are some maps in the description that will help.
you must have completed the mini quest Enter the Abyss. This method will require that you run into the wilderness. Only bring items that you are willing to lose. Bring with you a Chaos Talisman or Tiara, 15 Chaos Runes, a Vrock Teleport, and the quest items received so far. You may also need a pickaxe, axe, or tinderbox to get past the obstacles in the abyss. Run directly north of Edgeville along the river. Right-click on the Mage of Zamorak and select Teleport. Enter the inner ring through an obstacle and go into the Chaos Altar. This method is the safest of the three and does not require that you go into the wilderness. Read Sinketh's diary. Run to the Tunnel of Chaos, which is located southwest of the Lumberyard at the Statue of Saradamon. Talk to Anna Jones nearby and she will give you a bronze pickaxe. Use a pickaxe to excavate the statue and reveal the entrance. Enter the tunnel and run north to a portal. This will take you to the second level of the Chaos Maze. You'll need to go through the maze as I am, and there are some maps in the description that will help. Use your wand on the altar and it will absorb the 15 chaos runes and create an infused wand. Teleport to Varrock and speak to Sirach Magis in the Varrock Library again. Tell him, I have the things you wanted. He will give you Sirach's letter. Return to Rat. Tell him, yes, I have a letter for you. Now you'll need to speak to Zaf in Varrock. He is located in the staff shop in the Varrock Square. Use a Varrock teleport to get there quickly. Tell him, Rat Burgess sent me. Zaf will give you a beacon ring. Now you'll need to get ready for the fight. Use a bank nearby to gear up. You'll be facing King Roald, level 47. He has 60 hit points with a max hit of 3 using melee. He is also weak to magic. The room that you'll be fighting him in is instanced. If you die there, you will lose all of your items. It is required that you have the beacon ring with you while fighting him. When ready, return to Surak. Tell him, bring it on, and the fight will begin. Attack the king until he has 1 HP left. Then right-click on the beacon ring and select Operate. A small cutscene will occur.
speak with Rat one last time to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 8,000 rune crafting experience, 2,000 defense experience, the beacon ring, and access to a shortcut to the chaos altar. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you next time.